superhero. The bank is closed due to a lava emergency. You're smart to run from chaos. <laughs> Need to get somewhere righteous. <laughs> See you, new kid. Call on me whenever you want to get somewhere. <laughs> Call on me whenever you want to get somewhere. <laughs> Call on me whenever you want to get somewhere. <laughs> Ah, new kid, come, take a seat. All right, well, how's it going out there? Okay, good talk. Uh, well, listen, I think you show some potential, and uh, I'm gonna upgrade you to somebody's sidekick or something. Congratulations. I just maybe wanted to talk about your superhero character a little bit. Um, your character sucks, to be honest, and I think I'm gonna let you dual class. Let's pick another ability to add. So what kind of skill set are you looking to add to your repertoire? Cyborg. Ah, Elementalist. With power over, you know, the Earth and stuff. Cyborg. Cyborg. Robot fetish, huh? That's cute. So yeah, what an amazing moment for you. You must be excited. Elementalist. Ah, an elementalist, like Storm and Captain Planet, I guess. Okay, I think those two will work nicely together. But now we're gonna need to change your backstory, too. So let's go back again to that fateful night. Back when you were little. You did lay awake that night, but the reason you couldn't sleep was because you wanted to make the world a safer place. You walked to the mirror, You looked in the mirror and wondered if anyone would ever love you. And then you heard a noise, but, but it was a baby crying. Out in the hallway, you saw two guys attacking a helpless baby on the floor. You had to stop them from hurting that baby, didn't you? You knew you had the power to stop them, and so you called upon your newly discovered power. You had to stop these thugs in their traps. You started by entrapping the biggest in an ice prison. Ensnared by the cold, the intruder could only watch as it turned past him back. Hey, you can't just take a man's turn like that. Yeah, who do you think you are, kid? The intruders approached you, though little did they know they had set themselves up perfectly for a sand trap. I think this kid has some kind of power over ice and earth. Impossible. You took the opportunity to heal and focus your powers. I think I'll move over here. Oh man, I finally get a whack this damn kid. Feeling focused, you shrugged off the blow and readied your ultimate attack. Summoning the powers of ice, water, lightning, and earth, you unleashed into the intruders an elemental onslaught. Anyway, 
And so you beat them. You swept the baby up in your arms to take him somewhere safe, and then that's when the unthinkable happened. You saw your dad. Fuck your mom. And from then on, you had to live with the fact that because you were busy helping a baby, you couldn't stop your mom from being fucked by your dad. That's heavy, man. I'm really sorry. I know you probably want to know why. Why your dad fucked your mom, but those are answers you'll have to find for yourself. Cooning friends alert! Cooning friends alert! Seriously, guys, alert! Alert! The cooning friends alert! This is Coon, what's happening? It's the Freedom Pal! What have they done now? Just get to Main Street! Hurry! We're coming! Coon! Ow! Well, new kid, looks like you might be needing those newfound powers. Follow me! Updated. You should visit the Keenster. The Keenster thanks you for your purchase. All sales are final. Transaction complete. Shopping at the official store of Cunin Friends. No time to waste, butto. This way, butto. Toward the bus stop. It's the quickest route. My coon sense is on fire. Freedom House is on the move. Confrontation is brewing. Yes, this way. Keep going. Towards the bus stop. Man, escort missions are the worst. Ah, God damn it! So close. Head towards Main Street, butthole, and gird your loins for battle. Yes, a little further. We were supposed to be a duo, remember, Twig? Yeah, I remember. So when I walked out on Coon and Friends, you should have walked out with me. I like Coon and Friends. Because you had your own movie. Thank God you're here. They're really going at it. Super Craig had to have movies before Wonder Twig was introduced. It made no sense otherwise. Your whole group makes no sense! Because you're a traitor, Tweak, and now you're with a group of super traitors. This was started by you! By people who thought there should be preferential treatment to certain heroes! We aren't the ones who walked out of the fucking franchise, Mysterion! Eric, you must listen to me. Right now, I'm speaking to you telepathically. Get out of my head, Timmy. Your franchise is going nowhere. Face the truth, Eric. You guys are kind of douchebags. 
He just caught his douchebags in my mind. He did? All right, you son of a bitch. Ha! Motherfucker! Good friend, deal with these assholes! Today is the last day of the rest of your life. Going for blood, guys! Immortal fourth grader. Car! Car! Move! Fuck you, dude. It's Civil War, dick. Clear! Clear! Super Crank reporting for duty. Suck on this, Camel Pound. <laughs> Someone call for a vest in the face? Go get him, Tiger! Yeah! Attack maneuver initialized! Number tornado point! Yeah. Is he still on the right side? Yes. Good to go, and so is my bug jar! working for himself, new kid. Yeah. <laughs> 
You don't have to be on their side, new kid. Yeah, I saw that coming. Time to shoot the lasers. All right, my turn. Not even a citronella candle will save you now. Satisfying. This is the part where the bad guys regret their life choices. Good job, new kid. You're really getting the hang of this. Hey, wait. What about code? Oh, shit. Come on. Code, what happened? Timmy got away? He, he completely raped my mind. You okay? No, seriously, you guys. He fucked the shit out of my brains. Uh, I grabbed him. We fought for a little bit, but his, his mental powers are too strong. So we did all that for nothing? Not quite. I got Timmy's cell phone. You did? There's sure to be a lead on that. Let's get this back to base. Super Craig can analyze it. Uh, hello. Is this the little superhero who's getting all the followers on Instagram? Your presence is requested at City Hall. The mayor of South Park wishes to speak with you. Don't make her wait. I need to get somewhere for fit, 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 fit. Catch you later. Fuck. You, Mom. Ah, there you are, butthole. Alright, let's get to work. This isn't a mentorship program. What have you found, Super Craig? Timmy's phone has a bunch of notes in it. Something about a girl who has information about all the criminal activity in town. What girl? It just says, find the girl with the dick tattoo. Well, what girl in town has a dick tattoo? I don't know, Mosquito. But the Freedom Pals must think she's the key to finding the missing cat. If the Freedom Pals find her before we do, they'll get the $100 reward. We cannot let that happen. We have to stop the Freedom Pals from having a sweet franchise. At all costs. Then we have to find the girl with that tattoo tonight. Fast Pass is right. We all have to sneak out of our houses tonight and search the entire town. What do you say, new kid? Are you up for it? If you want to be a coon friend, you have to learn to communicate. Yeah, who let this guy join us anyway? Go easy on him, you guys. He's had a tough life. When he was six years old, his dad fucked his mom. What? I'm sorry, friend, but it's time they learned your tragic backstory. Butthole doesn't trust anyone because his dad fucked his mom and he couldn't do anything to stop it. That doesn't make any sense. I know. How could the person you trust do that to the only other person you love? Cartman, everyone's dad fucked everyone's mom. Huh? That's how it works, stupid. Our dads fucked our moms. Oh, right. So does that mean your dad fucked your mom, Cam? Huh? Yes! My dad fucked my mom. That's why I'm here. Don't steal his backstory, dude. That's not cool. You're so fucking stupid! Every human alive on Earth had a dad who fucked their mom stop, and- Stop, stop. This is not what's important right now. We need to find the lady with the dick tattoo. Yeah, let's get home so we can prepare for evening missions. Let's go, coon friends. He's such a fucking idiot. It's okay, calm down. I'm afraid you'll have to deal with that kind of bigotry your whole life, butthole. When people don't understand, they lash out. I'm going to let you be a sidekick tonight to one of the coon friends. Go home and sneak out after your parents are asleep. I'll fill you in later. Coon star. Ma'am, if this is you, go back upstairs, goddammit!
Congratulations. Come here, Forthy, I'll show you how to pop wheelies. That's right, walk away, walk away, little Forthy. What are you doing even talking to the school counselor? Why'd you answer the phone? Have you lost your fucking mind? Our child felt the need to go talk to the school counselor. Doesn't that bother you at all? So you told him the truth? Yes, I said we were aware of our child's gender issues. You dumb bitch! You'll ruin everything! I don't have to listen to this from a stoned out pothead! I need a drink. Sure, drown your problems in Chardonnay, you stupid skank! Oh, hey, whippersnapper! Have a fun day out playing? <laughs> well, I'm exhausted. Gonna get ready for bed. Dinner's on the table if you want it, punk. But then straight to bed, okay? Pothead. Alcoholic. Sweetie, I just want you to know that whatever happens, Mommy always loved you. Good night, sweetheart. That time, that's when the creeps come out. But unfortunately for the creeps, the other thing that comes out at night is a key. 